three fires in the last couple of weeks, the latest here at Bay and Lakeshore over the course of the weekend. Now it's a matter of taking away the trash and the belongings of those who had been living here, as well as looking at the charred concrete and making sure everything is stable. The city at this point needs to look at the issues around homeless encampments and how they can keep this from happening again. The massive flames wrapped around an on-ramp to the gardener from below, creating a large cloud of thick black smoke above. In the midst of it all, a makeshift shelter for the homeless. There are uh, people who are uh, living outside who are using propane tanks and open flame uh, to stay warm, frankly. And uh, there's a lot of debris in, in these encampments, and so the risk of, of fire escalates uh, as a result of that. City crews spent the day Monday sifting through the items that remained at Bay and Lakeshore, while another encampment to the west at Lower Simcoe was being removed. Heavy machinery was used to pull apart the shelters that had been set up. Those living there quickly grabbing some of their belongings before moving along. The solution to this doesn't rest with better enforcement or better monitoring or more vigilance with regard to what's going on at encampments, but rather to eliminate the need for them by increasing the supply of affordable housing and, and supportive housing. Officials have observed an increase in the use of propane tanks for heating in the areas sometimes referred to as squats. Another reason for the city to monitor the conditions in these locations. Before we do a clearing like an encampment, we need to let those those individuals who are working with, with <laughs> people living on the street um, build those relationships so that we can encourage them to come in and then we can clean it rather than displacing them. How often do the notices go out? So it really depends on the area. So, you know, there are several that might be in play right now. Homeless advocates have spoken out against the clearing of these encampments in the past. Most recently, when notice was given to those living in Rosedale Valley, saying they had nowhere to go. And in that case, there was a fire as well.